today I plan on creating northern lights with these bright colors on this one foot by three foot canvas. I plan to use black as my base and I plan to do a swipe. So the colors I'm using are, uh, this is um, Montmartre Fluoro Purple, fluorescent purple, and I mixed it with some Artist Loft Light Violet. This is a combination of Deku Art Metallic Pearl and Silver. This is Artist Loft Neon Blue. This is Liquitex Fluorescent Red mixed with some Montmartre Fluoro Red. And I cut the tubes open as you can see to clean them out. Liquitex Cadmium Yellow Light Hue mixed with some uh, Folk Art Color Shift Yellow Flash. And this is Montmartre Green, Fluoro Green. So we'll see what happens. Here I'm applying a base coat. It's primarily Artist Loft Black mixed with a little bit of Artist Loft Blue Flow Acrylics and mixed with Flow and Water. I shortened the video because it took me 10 minutes to cover. It's like icing a cake um, and not wanting to get any crumbs showing and in this case any canvas, bare canvas showing. So this the process of um, Northern Lights was a, a learning experience. I would use less paint. Um, I, I applied too much paint before I swiped, so I would use a lot less the next time I try this. So I wanted the bright green at the horizon. Uh, I was going to apply some on, on the other side, but green and purple don't go together. They can create mud. Oh, here I spilled the purple all over the place, so I was putting it back in the jar. I applied a strip of silver between the purple and the green, but I used way too much paint. So I didn't use any silicone or cell activator, but the flow chill created its own cells. And then I decided to put a strip of black down the center so that my swiping tool, the plastic sheet, would catch the black and slide over the colors to make them more muted, um, but it didn't always work. As you'll see, this first time I catch the black. There's some color showing, but I thought it was too muted. Although it's kind of a nice effect when I look at it now. And the next time I do this, I will 
I think I'll just do the top portion first and then try to achieve a reflection in the bottom portion to make it look like reflections in the water. But this time, the colors are just all over the place. So now I'm catching some more colors and you can see them showing up. Sorry for the glare. So that was a nice effect there. I think I cut some colors and some black. I missed a couple spots that I You'll see later that I tried to touch it up. I should have just left it. And I just let the paint slip or slide down the sides. Um, I decided to leave it natural looking. I contemplated covering the sides with just black, but once you start doing that, you mess up the, the edges of the canvas. And so I decided just to leave it be in it. And it looks kind of nice now that it's drying with the paint dripping down. should have checked the camera to make sure I was in frame. <laughs> canvas is so long, three feet long, it was difficult with the tripod on the table to try to get the entire canvas in. I make sure I go around the canvas with my dripping plastic sheet so they don't mess up what I just did. And I use the dry edge of the plastic sheet each time. I decided the first swipe was too dark, so I'm adding more color. This time I'm not going to apply a, a final black coat and we'll just drag the colors.
I decided the red was a bit too prominent and I just just um, swiped using the, the wet portion this time. I didn't like that yellowish red portion that looked too muddy so I decided to redo it but it was unfortunate I didn't keep the other bluish black portion because that was pretty. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. You can see on the right that there are cells popping up. But I'll speed up this video because um, it goes on too long with all my touch-ups and redos. But enjoy the process. And at the end I'll bring you down for a close-up of the wet results and the dry results. a little bit wet but I just wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like quasi dry I wasn't aiming for any cell action but the cells that did pop up give it a starry night look
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe below.